using different structures. We actually got to know each other. And But it only got out of the committee. It didn't get. He works harder and smarter than anybody else I know in the state of Oregon. My good friend Steve Novick. I mean, you can imagine a future where inequality gets worse instead of better. You can imagine a future where we're spending 30% of our gross domestic product on health care, but 30% of the population doesn't have health care. And you can imagine a future where global warming is destroying our farms and our forests and our coastal cities and our hydropower system, among other things. And you can imagine a future where the national debt rises to such a level that we go bankrupt when people stop lending us money and we have to make savage cuts in programs like Medicare and Social Security. Or we can imagine a future where we go back to the kind of economy we had 40 years ago, an economy that to a great extent worked for everybody, where CEOs were satisfied making 30 or 40 times what an average worker made <laughs> instead of 400 times where rich people and corporations paid a much larger share of taxes than they do today, and they didn't even complain about it very much. The, the issues that matter most to Oregonians are the issues that matter most to the rest of the country. I mean, if we have increasing inequality nationally, we have increasing inequality here. We have fewer people with health care in Oregon, we have fewer people in health with health care nationally, and global warming is going to get all of us, it's not going to make distinctions between places. So by working on all of those issues, I'm going to help Oregon. How do you help other people understand that we can't pay for what, what we have going on right now as it is? And how do we change that dynamic? How do we start including more people? The, what I'd like to see happen is, I mean, the federal government used to actually run ads on this. During World War II, they hired Irving Berlin to write a little ditty about income taxes and where yeah, they go. I remember. And, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I don't see why we shouldn't do that again. I mean, that's what I would argue for if I was in the Senate. Um, in the course of, I mean, and the thing is, it's not really that much information you need people to know. I mean, you need people to know basically two-thirds of your tax dollars goes to defense, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and interest on the debt. If people just knew that, it would be a huge step forward because right now people think that far welfare and foreign aid are the biggest items in the budget. I promise you that I will spend the next six years trying to make this into the kind of country and the kind of state that we want it to be. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Shake hooks. All for one and one for all. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs>